welcome home, little one. I didn't expect you home so soon. Didn't you have a special project that you had to work on today? You finished it already? Oh, well, that was quick. <laughs> but then again, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You're always so diligent when you put your mind to something. Although, I must apologize. I had planned on cleaning up the apartment a bit more before you got home. So I only managed to clean the living room and part of the kitchen. I would recommend not even going into the bathroom yet. It's still a mountain of boxes. <laughs> well, anyways, why don't you give me up your coat and I'll hang it up for you. I know that it's getting warmer out since it's spring, but the winter chill has been sticking around lately. Not much of a problem for me, of course, since I have my fur. But I am sure you are still a little chilly. How about you relax on the couch and I'll make you some nice warm tea. <laughs> Would you like anything in your tea today? Of course, I can give you some milk. Or would you perhaps like it a little sweeter today? The lovely bee woman from downstairs stopped by earlier today and she gave me some of her handmade honey. I'm not usually too much of a sweet tooth, but this stuff is amazing. <laughs> I'll have to bring her something as a thank you later. Just milk. Alright then. I'll have it ready for you in just a moment. <laughs> there we go. you like it. I wasn't sure how much milk you wanted, so I used the usual amount. It's perfect. <laughs> well, I like to think that I've gotten rather good at knowing how you like things. Like, I know how much milk you usually take in your tea. And which side of the bed you like the most? And how much you like your back to be massaged? I thought so. You're all tight, little one. That's no good. You looked a little stressed when you came inside today. So I figured that you might need this. Huh? Why, how could you say such a thing? My motives are nothing but pure. I never use massages as just an excuse to touch you. It's just a little happy coincidence is all. No, stop teasing me and just let me make you feel better, okay? Good, good. Now, what 
you mind lying on your stomach? Alrighty. Now, just leave it to me. There we go. Doesn't it feel better? I was never built for the hard work on the farm, but I still like to think that my hands are strong enough to give a good massage. Sense. You work much harder than you give yourself credit. Besides, I enjoy being able to do things like this for you. It's my way of trying to repay all the kindness you've shown me. I came into your life completely unannounced. I mean... I quite literally broke into your house. But... You took me in without a second thought. No one but someone incredibly special like you. What does something so sweet? You didn't even get mad when I ate your house, but... <laughs> In fact, you started buying plants specifically because of my taste. <laughs> You're such a sweetheart. I'm happy that it was your house that I broke into. I know, I know. I tell you that all the time. <laughs> but it's always true. I think back to that time a lot. I can't help it. Just knowing how lucky I got. Find my lovely little one as soon as I arrived into the city. It still shocks me. I mean, when I left the farm, I only had the idea I wanted to go to the city. I had no idea where I would go, or what would I do. Or even if it was possible to make it as a city all-star. Was I not doing a good job with the massage? 
No. Well then, what is it? Please tell me if there is something bothering you. You want me to stand up for a moment? Uh, okay then. Hmm? You have to get something out of your pocket? Is it something to do with your special project? No, sweetie. If you still had work to do, you could have just told me. I didn't mean to take your time away from your... Hmm? You wanted to show me something? Uh, okay then. What is it? A secret? <laughs> well, alright then. So, what do I have to do to see this secret of yours? Huh? What's that? A blind vault? Oh my, a secret indeed, I guess. Well, alright then, I'll put it on. Alright then, little one, I'm wearing the blind bolt. Now what? Take your hand? Okay. Getting into the elevator. Just how far do I have to walk without being able to see? Not too much further? Alright, I trust you. Hopefully, this isn't your very creative way of keeping me out of the house. Even though I am a proper metropolitan holster woman, I still can get rid of my love for nature. May I take off my blindfold now? <gasps> oh my goodness! Human, this is absolutely beautiful. I had no idea that there was such a gorgeous garden on our rooftop. Was this here the whole time? No. Oh, well then. What on earth is all of this? This was your special project? Really? Oh my. No wonder you've been working so late recently. This must have taken you ages. Mm. <laughs> oh, these plants. They are all of my favorite things. From the delicious grass you were growing when you first met. Sit and enjoy this beautiful place. 
Not to mention with all of these deliciously huge plants covering all of the fences. <laughs> you never know you were in the city. I mean, oh my gosh. It's like a tiny paradise up here. A garden of Eden, just for us. You have one more surprise for me? Well, what could it possibly be? I mean, what could you possibly have to show me that could be better than this? It's a ring. It's such a beautiful one at that. But, wait a minute. Why are you getting on your knee? Are you injured? Did you hurt yourself? Did I hurt you accidentally? Did, did... What did you just say, little one? I was almost sure I just heard you. You... You asked me to marry you? You mean, you want me to be your wife? Me? Really? <laughs> yes, of course, yes. How could I ever say no to that? Of course, I want to be your wife, little one. <laughs> my size so perfectly and and the gemstones look like a little bell <laughs> i love it i love it i love you so much i i just don't know what to say little one you we we are going to be married. Are... Are you sure about this? Are you... Really... Really sure? Promise that you wouldn't be ashamed to have me as your wife? I... I mean... I know that relationships with demi-humans and humans aren't unheard of, but... I haven't ever heard of a human and a whole star being married. Wouldn't you prefer a smaller, cuter demi-human? Like an elf or a echo? Instead of a big cowgirl who is taller than you, who isn't small and cute and is fat. I'm sorry. I panicked a little. Don't worry, little one. I know you love me. And I love you too. I really, really do. I haven't met anyone who has ever come close to being as special to me as you are. I will happily spend the rest of my life with you, here. <gasps> Come sit with me on the bench here. Your pampering still isn't finished. Lay your head on my thighs. I know you love it when I let you use my lap as your pillow. never wanted us to be apart. 
And now, he will never have to. He'll make me feel safe. And warm. And loved. Just right there. Let me give back to you these feelings. Let me pamper you and show you how much I love you. Everything I have is yours. Everything you could ever want. I will do my best to give to you. <laughs> oh, silly. You have already given me everything that I could ever want and more. Don't you worry about the thing. love you, and I will always support you. I'll make you happy every day, just like you make me happy every day. Oh, my little one, my precious.
you for listening until the end. If you are still here, please leave a like, subscribe, and write a comment. Pink must like being spoiled. I hope you are happy to hear from Belle the Girl Girl again. If you want to listen to more videos with her, check out the description. And for part 2 of this audio, visit my Patreon. Thank you so much for your support and patience. I'm lucky to have such a wholesome community. Big shout out to all my patrons, supporting me at all times and making my work here possible. And special thank you this audio goes to Elytron, Alexander Olsen, Andre Holkostra, Anthony Orlandi, Andy, Austin Bridges, Blue Boy B. Brandy Carell Camoran Chopacabra Pio Courier Bry Daniel Solomon David Shepard Jr. David West Deus Ex Esper Dia and one. Feel free to generate. General Damien James, Skull Crusher. Great Mage. Yao Jan. Sun. Heat Solstice. Gabus. Outright Kimo King Fisher Lord Potano Mark Williams Marty Raphael Red Demon Risky Blaze Sam Dao Shadow Killer Spencer Williams Damon Clark Tricky Eo Kyo XX Hello Suck Generous